e-stop will be twist out. Um, black button to the right will turn it on. Once your transmitter is on, then you'll hit your green button to link the crane. Once the crane is linked, your black button becomes a horn on the crane. Crane's not on. Yellow button twice will be in stabilizer mode. Yellow button twice will be out of stabilizer mode. Um, make sure you hit the yellow button fast and not slow. If you go bang, bang, that's too slow. Red button is your HTL mode, which is your heavy duty lift mode. One time? One time. It's also and your false override or false overload override. Right? Okay. Your paddles are going to be like gas pedals on a car. The faster you push it, the faster you're going to go. Nice and smooth. You can multifunction with this crane, so you can do two to three functions at once. Uh, the black switch to the left side of the e stop is your micro switch. If you hit that to the turtle six times, it's going to derate your speed 60%, not your capacity. Your switch clear to your uh, left of your tram, and then I'm sorry, one time to the rabbit will be uh, full speed. But you do not have to go back six times. Yeah. You do not have to go back six times, once only. Um, your switch to the far left is going to be your RPM switch. In the neutral position is idle. To the left is full or high idle. To the far right will be your auto RPM. When you stroke a function, it's going to go up. After you've let go of a paddle for roughly five seconds, it's going to drop back down to an idle. Your switch in the middle is going to be your start and stop. Press and hold to the left for start. Press and hold to the right. I'm, yeah, press and hold to the right for start. And then stop. Uh, your RPM plus and minus is not used. The battery on the back of the transmitter is replaceable. Roughly eight hours of, of full run time. Does not have a memory. Your number 10 toggle switch always needs to be in a neutral position. If it is pushed to the right, your yellow button will not work as a stabilizer button. It'll make your screens on your display change. So always make sure that that toggle switch is in a neutral position. This is our RCL. This is the controller of the crane. Um, this, is the, this also has a black box in it just like an airplane. So this is gonna tell all your run time, override time, um, any abuse that's been done to the crane, that's gonna be recorded in this. Um, your e-stop on this is a twist out. They'll show a yellow line when it is out. You never have to touch that e-stop uh, when you are finished with the crane. You can leave that e-stop out at all times. Um, the, the buzzer here will sound when we do hit 90% of load or our EVS is active which is going to be here. Um, our display is going to show any error codes we have or any function we are in. Um, your load on your crane will start at 80%. As you grow, as the load increases, it will hit 100% and will stop the crane. The crane will stop at that time. Your run light, when everything is good, you'll have a green solid light and a running dot dash on the bottom of the display. Function light will show when you're in HDL mode, which is our heavy duty lift mode. Heavy duty lift is going to be 50% uh, of speed, not capacity, and it's going to proportionally go in while you're running it uh, from 70% on. You can also put it into manual HDL by touching the red button on the transmitter or on the RCL. Um, green button will actually turn the RCL on. Once again, you don't have to touch that button when you have the remote. Um, if it is a, a stable ish, stabilizer issue, if the truck starts to tip, um, that's the EVS, that'll be the F1 light. If we are overloading the crane, the P1 light will let, illuminate with the percentage. Um, the P2 is not used. The F4 is if we have a winch, and the F4 is a, if we have temperature. Um, we, will, we will go over a couple things that you will see in the display. 001 is when our e-stop e is pressed in. With that, 180 or no RC is if the uh, transmitter is not turned on. 
Um, if we move up to the, the receiver, we'll also have a display inside here on what's going on. Uh, if there are any issues with, with the crane or anything like that, we may ask what is going on with that. To the left of the, the box, you'll see a cap here. This is where we tether the transmitter to the receiver. The switch above that is for um, a radio manual that always 100% needs to be on radio all the time. If that gets switched, it will show an error code in the RCL of a 192 or a 108.